I wasn't aware that Mina was playing Ben, I don't know, but uh, that doesn't make sense. Okay. I haven't seen him play uh, in a while because I haven't been down to COF, but uh, that's interesting. I feel like Olimar might be one of the characters that like has a better time than others, just because of his like his drop range, his zoning with his Pikmin and the damage over time. I know that you can use a Pikmin on Bayonetta to which time at any time, but I'm not sure how useful it actually is. So far, though, we have uh, Zyvon doing really good damage, uh, being able to run around. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't believe Nair that gets them off. Up there might. Uh, her smashes definitely don't, because they don't even hit her. Slap with the purple Pikmin, we'll take the first stock. And then Olimar is getting his uh, low percent combos again. Zyvon's gonna try and get the percent right back to where it was, but a stock ahead. And he is just kinda running a tear on Bayonetta. Yeah, Olimar's not a character you see often, so it's very interesting to watch. But uh, good DI. Good tech as well. Uh, I believe these Pikmin are like the least optimal Pikmin. So I think he's gonna train them out as soon as possible. Yeah, that is for ninth place right now. Oh wait, so who won? Did... Alright, so Kak is out. Uh, is playing Game 71 right now. Trap Barrow uh, is very good. Uh, I believe he was playing Mario earlier. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, Zyvon does take the second stock in the game. Uh, fun fact about Trap Barrow is that he is using Vito. Yeah, he is one of the only people I've seen that actually use it. Yeah, aside from me, Sam, I haven't seen uh, people really utilize it. It's, it's optimal. But uh, if you're like me, it just hurts your wrists, and then you can't play Smash. Oh, he definitely is. So we're gonna go to Dreamland. Yeah, and I don't think his Pikmin like even make it above the like platform enough Smash. Yeah. Uh, Vaynet is already timing Olimar out. Yeah, I mean, you have to if you're gonna fight Olimar. If you can't successfully rush him down, you have to beat him at his own game. Gameplay everyone wanted to see because this is what you get for the next four and a half minutes. <laughs> this is optimal gameplay. This is 20xx. Yeah. Optimal Mario or optimal uh, Olimar's three purple Pikmin. Even if you 
try, like, there's always a chance of a witch timer bat within. Ooh, almost got a tomahawk, but Olimar gets grabbed instead. Yeah, it's gonna be real dangerous. Olimar does have a very, uh, it's like a very versatile uh, recovery. He has a lot of control over it, but he has no hitbox. Alright, he survives. And, uh, Olimar with Rage, this is pretty even. I think if he had a blue Pikmin, that might start killing soon-ish. Mm -hmm. There's the blue Pikmin. No stocks taken. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yep, that might have actually killed him that high. Spot dodge to get F smashed. Taking as little damage as possible. This is because I'm in a pretty bad position. He might have run out of a B soon. Uh, it's a good thing he landed, otherwise, he might have just had to fall. Ooh! But the purple Pikmin doesn't hit. Now that uh, Mino has to play more aggressively, he's getting Pikmin damage attacked on him. <laughs> At 185, Zyvon dies. Yeah! <laughs> it's a good snipe with the white Pikmin. There's tons of damage. It's a, it would have died if that was in. Yeah, especially with Rage and Etta. How to shield up B? Absolutely. And then <laughs> F Smash will take it. But it's just a minute left on the clock. Zyvon takes it to him. Yeah, when he had to get the next stock, he just ran in, and that's the, the opposite of what you want to do against an Olimar. Exactly. 